Right, so hi guys and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the rise of True Geordie. So if you guys don't know, True Geordie's actually a bit of an OG, OG on YouTube. So he's managed to accumulate nearly 2 million subscribers on his time on YouTube with over 250 million views. So it's evident that he's a very popular guy, particularly in the UK. Public so now I'd like to talk about the history of Brian and how he's got to where he is now. So he posted his first video over seven years ago, and this was a rant on Nile Ranger. And at this point in his career, and at the start of his career, his content really revolved around football. So one of his first videos involved him applying to be a Man United manager as a Joe. And for the time, this was such a funny video, which is, which is obviously why he's done so well. And the reason why his videos started getting some traction was that the first video that he ever made on Nile Ranger blew up overnight. He said that he uploaded it, and then he checked back the next day it had 70,000 subscribers overnight which is quite unreal so if you guys have seen that video the video was filmed on a very poor quality camera awful light and it was really bad quality but people like the raw honesty that he brought to the table and how he could just speak his mind and this really got the ball rolling for him and then after this he like posted every now and then like football content in the autumn of 2016 is when he really decided to change up his content and this is where he started his well-known True Geordie podcast so now I'm going to discuss the factors and reasons why True Geordie has been been so successful so the first reason why he's done so well is the innovative content so brian's constantly changed up the content that he's posting obviously trying new things out all the time as i mentioned earlier he started by posting a lot of content focused around football and then after this he started to post more content revolved around his personality obviously with the podcast where lawrence was the co-host and after this in between in between the podcasts that he was regularly posting he'd like post the odd vlog style commentary video he had a series called what's trending where he just, he just discussed topics that were trending on his own. Then if you guys don't know, he started his popular football series called The Kickoff. And he started this in August 2017, which was a similar time that he started his knockout series where he covered fights. Then near the end of 2018 time, he started his successful series called True News. And what I mean by this point, going over what he's done in his content, is he's constantly innovating his content. And he's been doing this for a long time now. He doesn't just do like one thing. He finds a successful series and then he continues it while he also tries out new things so this ensures that his fans don't get bored of the stuff that he's posting but also he doesn't get bored at the same time so the second reason why True Geordie's become so successful is his co-host, Lawrence McKenna. I'm sure you guys all know Lawrence McKenna, who's basically in the majority of True Geordie's videos. So you'll see him a lot in the podcast, you'll see him in the kickoff, the knockout, and obviously True News. He just does appear in the majority of the videos Brian posts to his channel. And it's funny, it's almost as if the channel's like 50-50 in terms of content anyway. And what I mean by this point is that the fans love Lawrence, and it's one of the reasons why people have stuck around. So at first, he really did have mixed reception with the fans like a lot of people didn't like him perhaps a bit like a bit like mike from the impulsive podcast a lot of people were like saying stuff about lawrence in the comments and a lot of people didn't like him because he was providing like an alternative view a bit like what mike does right now on the impulsive podcast so i'd definitely say in the past couple of years people have really taken to lawrence taken a liking to lawrence and i'd say that they really enjoy his humor i think that's mainly his humor that people like i mean he just is one of the wittiest people on the platform does appear to be very clever obviously you can develop witty humor but it seems to be like something that's naturally inborn in him but there's also another element to Lawrence a lot of people just like him for his personality and I'd say a lot of people like his judgment sometimes so what he does with Brian is he often plays devil advocate with him and what I mean by this is he provides an alternative viewpoint so it obviously helps to balance out the podcast so when they're talking about topics say on true news Brian might comment on the youtuber or something that they're featuring but then Lawrence will play like devil's advocate and say the alternative viewpoint and this just means that the shows that they're producing aren't one-sided if fans disagree with something that Brian says it doesn't mean that all automatically going to turn the video off there obviously is recognition of their point of view as well so the third reason why he's been so successful are the guests that he's had on the podcast i mean he just has had some great guests in the past on the podcast so very early on he, he managed to get joe weller on his podcast when he was so small in terms of like subscribers and growth he then had will and e ksi and a lot of other successful youtubers but then after the podcast really grew and he got more well known he managed to get even more high profile guests on say like alan shearer Logan Paul, Ricky Duvace, and there's many others that I haven't named there, but you get my point. And these personalities, these people that he's featured, have definitely attributed to his success. I'd say one of the main reasons he managed to get the ball rolling with the podcast is that he managed to, he did manage to get decent guests from the start. These guests aren't just random people that he's friends with. The people who his fans care about, people who are well known to the YouTube audience. So, for example, Joe Weller. <laughs> 
So the fourth factor in why True Geordie has been so successful is Logan Paul. And I'd definitely like to note that this is one of the smaller factors, but it definitely helped him to get to where he is today. So what I mean by this is the video that he made on Logan Paul definitely helped increase the success of Brian on YouTube. So if you guys didn't see a couple of years ago, he did a video calling out Logan Paul for his mistake in Japan. And this video blew up like overnight it had millions of views and then after this main video he did a lot of follow-up videos in one of the videos he called logan paul and eventually before the ksi versus logan paul fight he actually managed to get logan paul in his podcast but at the time he was making these videos when they were all blowing up it pushed true jordy over the one million mark and it really did just like push his success to the next level so obviously he was doing very well before the logan paul situation this just helped to make him well known and i think it helped him gain more us subscribers obviously with logan having a lot of us fans him getting logan on his podcast calling them and stuff like that it definitely it just did help him have a new influx of the youtube audience and it wasn't like he was getting a lot of hate for what he'd said because a lot of people didn't even like logan at the time but in the second logan paul podcast when they had the second fight he seemed to be much more friendly with logan it was like he was becoming friends with logan and obviously people who like logan people who like logan paul's impulsive podcast might decide to stay and watch true geordie's podcast as well because they've seen that quite entertaining content <laughs> Right, so the future of True Geordie. Brian is definitely likely, is definitely likely to have sustained success. As you can definitely see that longer form content that he's producing since like, since 2016 time is still doing very well for him. People just do like him for his personality and this shows by the amount of people who've stuck by him, like the loyal fans that he's gained. I predict that he's going to be doing a lot more true news. It seems to be working perfect in the YouTube algorithm at the minute. Obviously, he's not going to stop doing his podcast, but true news just allows him to talk about trending topics without him having to have guests on one thing in the future that it would be nice to see him do would be would be something more physical and this could be anything it could be him getting in the ring with other youtubers the reason i want to see this is obviously because after seeing true jordy commentate on a couple of youtube events it just makes me want to see what he can actually do and you can obviously tell that he goes to the gym like he's quite a well-built guy so i think he'd definitely be able to do well in in some combat sport i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did enjoy it please leave a like and i hope you guys are finding the lockdown okay at the minute thanks for watching guys Peace.